Hey everybody, welcome to Mathematical Production. Today we're going to be going over how to use the product rule when solving derivatives. So you want to use the product rule whenever you have or whenever you're taking the derivative of two functions that are being multiplied together and they can't be further simplified. So if you had f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to x squared, you would not need to use the product rule for this situation because x times x squared will just give you x cubed. And because you can simplify, it will just be easier to go ahead and do that as opposed to using the product rule. So you want to use the product rule whenever you have a, a situation where, let's say instead of x squared, you had sine of x. x times sine of x can't be further simplified. And that's where the product rule comes in handy to tackle situations like this. All right, so the product rule states that whenever you're taking the derivative of two products, it is gonna be the equivalent of your first function, which we label as f of x, times the derivative of your second function, plus the derivative of your first function times the derivative, or sorry, times your second function. And here's just another way of writing it. All right, something that my teacher told me in order to help me rememorize this rule is 1d2 plus 2d1 where one is equal to your first function, d represents derivative, and two represents your second function, which is just g of x. So one d two plus two d one. First function times derivative of second function plus second function times derivative of first function. So now that we have the rules down, let's go ahead and try out an example. So let's say that we're trying to take the derivative of x times sine of x. So the first thing you have to do is go ahead and identify your functions. And here, your first function is x so go ahead and put down f of x is equal to x. And your second function is sine of x. So go ahead and put down g of x is equal to sine of x. So remember the rule. 1d2 one, one plus 2d1. So let me go ahead and rewrite it real quick. All right, so you're gonna do 1d2 plus 2d1. And one is your first function, which in this situation is x. d2 is just derivative of your second function. Derivative of sine is equal to cosine. So d2 is just going to be cosine of x. And that's going to be added to 2d1. 2 is just your second function, which is sine. And d1 is your derivative of your first function. And, and the derivative of x is just 1. And all you have to do now is simplify. So 1 times sine of x is just sine of x. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. And this is your answer. X cosine of X plus sine of X. And that's all you have to do when it comes to using the product rule. All right, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of our other videos on a similar topic. And have a great day. Peace. Well.